You're watching ABC 36 on your side. Good morning, Kentucky, with Lee Cruz and Haley Harmon. Well, welcome into Sports. I'm Forrest Tucker. Former Kentucky basketball player Oscar Shewe continued his Lexington homecoming with the Youth Skills Camp at Sports Center Lexington. Hundreds of campers came to see the skills session and Big O and got coached up by the current Kentucky let the current Kentucky basketball players. Oscar says that he's happy with his new team, the Indiana, the Indiana Pacers, is not far from Lexington, and that Big Blue Nation welcomed him back well. It means a lot to me uh, to be here. I walk in here, there were like 300 kids. I was so happy, but like, uh, I want them to see, I want to live by example to help people, to help especially the youngest. Every player from the current UK basketball team was in attendance, some meeting Oscar for the first time. Even injured freshman Aaron Bradshaw, seen right here, was there coaching up young campers. Veterans Trey Mitchell and Brennan Canada say that it's been fun to help Big O with his camp. I think there's over 300 kids here, so that's not, I didn't envision that, but you know, like I said, Oscar has great support around here, and so does Kentucky basketball. I literally just met him today for the first time, and you can tell that he's a genuine dude, and, and he means well, and I think that people can see that. More UK sports action now. The Kentucky volleyball team is headed back to the bluegrass with its first win of the new campaign. Senior Reagan Rutherford was the star on defense versus Northern Colorado with 17 kills. UK won three of four sets led by junior Emma Gromes with 45 assists. Head coach Craig Skinner put his freshman out on the court and they did not disappoint. Molly Tezzo served six aces and Brooklyn DeLay earned 13 kills. Eleanor Bevan also made an impact with 13 digs. The Wildcats returned home to Rupp Arena for their first game in the venue on Friday night for the 84 Lumber Classic versus number five ranked Pittsburgh. That's at 7 p.m. So they're doing some winning, but winning is not one of the things that the Reds have been doing much in the past few days. Cincinnati dropped their four game series in the desert to the Diamondbacks by losing three games. But there was one play from game four that you just have to see. OK, bottom of the fifth here. TJ Friedel is going to take a long run back to the wall. The inches are on the side of the Reds here. That's not a home run yet, and all hope looks to be lost. Corbin Carroll's rounding third, but wait, Ellie De La Cruz gets the ball. He rifles it over to home plate at almost 100 miles per hour. Tyler Stevenson says, tag, you're it. Man, Ellie, just cool as can be right there. What a way to save a run. That's crazy. Yes, the Reds lost, but Spencer Steer says they'll keep playing their brand of baseball. Games are they're all really important. Um, fighting for a playoff spot, so that doesn't change what, what we do on the field. Um, we're still going to be ourselves and play loose, play our, play our brand of baseball, and I think we focus on doing that and coming in every day and focusing on just playing good baseball. I think uh, I think that's a good recipe. Lastly, Kentucky women's soccer is held without a win for the first time this season with a draw versus Valparaiso. And Lexington Sporting Club moves up to ninth place in the United Soccer League One with a win over the Richmond Kickers. That's your look at sports. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Forrest Tucker.